Hola, hi, this is Al, your statistics instructor. Let's get to work. In this video, we will talk about the uh, flat prior density for mu, where mu represents the mean of a normal random variable with known variance, sigma squared. We will also investigate if our simple updating rules apply for that kind of prior. Okay? Let's begin. So, what we mean by a flat prior? So, the uh, flat prior gives each possible value of mu the same weight. Okay? So, let's uh, talk about that flat prior, right? So, in this case, Again, our parameter of interest is uh, mu. So let us assign the same value to each possible value of mu, 1. Okay? And then we know that the mean for a normal uh, could be any number between negative infinity and infinity. So, the problem that we're going to have is that the flat prior is not really a legit prior distribution, meaning that uh, the integral of this guy is not equal to 1, right? So, what we have here is an improper prior. PM, well, P of mu is an improper prior. And remember that we talked about this also, about improper priors, when we talked uh, about uh, Bayesian likelihoods. So we have already talked about this. The thing is, as we just said, uh, the integral of uh, this prior is not 1, okay? Okay. However, right, it turns out that this improper prior works fine. Okay, so let's let's think about it. So we have this guy as our prior. We call it a flat prior. We also know that it's improper, meaning that uh, it doesn't integrate to one. Okay. Uh, now let's talk about the other ingredient that we would need if we want to use a uh, Bayesian approach: the uh, likelihood. Let's consider just a single observation. Remember that uh, if you want to analyze a sample of size n from a normal likelihood, that is equivalent to using the likelihood for y bar. And that's a single observation. So if we do this for a single observation, uh, we can extend these ideas easily for a sample of size n. Okay. Okay. So, just for simplicity, let me consider just the likelihood of a single observation. But as we pointed out, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, our analysis here can't be easily extended to a sample. Okay. So, uh, the expression for the likelihood in this case, the probability of y given mu. Uh, is just, you know, uh, first we're going to have that uh, normalizing constant, uh, the square root of pi times sigma, square root of 2 times pi, uh, times 
sigma also uh, remember that uh, we are assuming that sigma squared is known right sigma squared is known okay so then let me complete here the expression of the uh, likelihood for this guy we're going to have an exponent we have one over well yeah minus one over two times sigma squared times uh, y minus mu uh, squared okay okay so that's uh, our likelihood right now we know that uh, the posterior right that's uh, one that we ultimately want the posterior distribution the notation that we use is uh, p of mu given y so we want to say something about the parameter mu given that we have observed a single observation in this case okay so uh, you know uh, this is the same as your joint right joint um, time well divided by the marginal right joint divided by marginal and using our likelihood and our prior what we know is that what we have here in the numerator is just prior times likelihood we have in the denominator is just the integral with respect to mu of the joint right that is going to give you your marginal so it would be the integral of prior times likelihood but uh, with respect to mu okay then that is going to give you your marginal so note something interesting let's talk about that denominator that we have here denominator so in this particular case uh, the prior is just a constant one from negative infinity to infinity right so we have 1 times this which is your likelihood right so in the end the only thing that we have is 1 times your likelihood but your likelihood is this guy PDF of a normal and the integral from negative infinity to infinity of this guy is just one right so what we have is that this guy here right this is just a constant one so your posterior is proportional in this case the constant that you have here is one but let me use the proportionality symbol here is proportional to this prior times likelihood just like before and in this particular case 
this constant is 1 but still the thing is that the product between this the prior and your likelihood is just your likelihood and this guy happens to be this the PDF of a normal so even when we started with an improper prior you end up with a proper posterior which is just a normal right make sense okay so uh, the other thing that we wanted to do here in this video was uh, we wanted to find out if our simple updating rules apply for flat priors right so let's see uh, let me open a new one here remember that to use our updating rules we introduce the concept of precision and the precision is just the uh, reciprocal of the variance right so the first thing that we need to do is finding the uh, precision for a flat prior so here's the thing the flat prior has an infinite variance agreed right so since it has an infinite variance right or think about it this way uh, we could think about this as if it was uh, as if we were making you know uh, the uh, interval that we're considering right it could be a one right but for a bigger or, or well we, we did this for the uh, Poisson likelihood we could make that constant instead of a uh, one a smaller and smaller constant over a bigger and bigger uh, interval right okay the point being is that again the uh, variability is increasing so in the limit uh, that variance is really really big is infinite in the limit right but if the variance is infinite right the reciprocal right or is it's a very huge number then the precision is going to zero right so let me just say that that the uh, flat prior has infinite variance uh, so it has uh, zero precision okay so now let's remember uh, how we uh, used our updating uh, rules so posterior precision what we said about the posterior precision which is just the reciprocal of the variance so we use s star to refer to our s star square to refer to our uh, posterior variance so what we said is posterior variance is the same as prior variance plus uh, sample uh, I'm sorry posterior precision is the same as prior precision plus sample precision in this case precision the prior precision is zero and the precision for your sample is just one over sigma squared right agreed okay so in the end this is what you have posterior precision is just the same as the precision from your sample the posterior mean posterior mean what we said about m star the posterior mean is that it's going to be a linear combination it's going to be a weighted average between your prior mean and your sample mean 
the thing is that for a flat prior the mean is not well defined it could be anything right but we have that linear combination right of uh, prior mean uh, yeah, linear combination of prior mean and uh, sample mean. Okay, but note that in this case, the multiplier that you will use for this guy, right? It's uh, the prior precision divided by your posterior precision times the prior mean and the prior mean we said is not well defined it could be anything right plus and then we have your uh, sample precision which is this guy divided by your posterior precision which happens to be the same guy times your observation right so linear combination of prior mean and uh, your observation or sample mean in this case the sample mean of a single observation it's itself right so this is going to be your posterior mean your observation makes sense so even when these uh, flat priors are improper distributions they don't integrate to one uh, when you do the math uh, things work out well right when we apply Bayes theorem here uh, things work out well and what we end up with is that the posterior is just given by uh, you know the information coming from your likelihood the mean is mu variance sigma squared right and then when you apply our updating rules you end up with the same result right posterior mean why uh, the uh, posterior precision 1 over sigma squared or in other words the posterior variance is just sigma squared so our uh, simple updating rules also apply for these flat priors okay well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care and keep working hard. See you next time. Bye.